what is up guys and welcome back so in this video I want to do a review of this 2017 CRF 150F this is not the R version so this is the trail version so one of my favorite things about this bike is that you just turn the key electric start why these bikes are pretty cool is because if you want if you ever your carburetor gets plugged from sitting all you do is unscrew two bolts take this off slide that carburetor out clean it and get this bike back on the road don't change your spark plug pop this off unscrew it comes right out easy maintenance on it yeah the oil right there so guys in total this bike weighs 234 pounds this bike is pretty cool because uh shorter people can ride it and adults can also get on and have a lot of fun. So guys, in 2006, they stopped making the Kickstarter version and they switched to the electric start. Their goal was to make this bike lighter, but they added the starter and everything. And it made a few pounds heavier actually, but I actually prefer this electric start because all I do is just twist the key, press and go. So guys, the seat height on this bike off the ground is 32.8 inches. Also, what I really love about this bike is that it has a kickstand. You don't have to bring no uh, stands along. You just flip that out. So guys, now let's get into some facts about the engine. So, this engine is a dependable 149cc single cylinder air-cooled four-stroke engine that produces smooth, easy to use power. That's ideal for new riders. So guys, the 24 millimeter carburetor on this bike produces really smooth throttle response. Also guys, the real, the ultra reliable CD ignition never needs maintenance on these bikes. So guys, this bike actually has a heavy duty clutch in it, which makes the clutch engagement really smooth. You look right here, really easy to pull. And the clutch engagement on this bike is really smooth due to those heavy duty clutches that are in there. Also talking about the clutch guys and the transmission, this bike has a five speed manual transmission which is matched to the engine RPMs, so the ratio is perfect. Also guys, the battery on these bikes never needs mains. I never had to charge this battery no matter how long it sat. It just fires right up all the time. So guys, this bike does have a steel frame, but it's still very light. So guys, these front forks right here are really smooth and they offer nine inches of travel. So guys, that nice shock right there in the back offers 8.9 inches of suspension travel. Also, up in the front, this bike has a powerful 240 millimeter disc brake. Also, this bike right here has a drum brake in the back, which you can easily adjust right here. Also about the cams, very easy to adjust. Pop this cover off, easy to adjust those. Also guys, this bike has a lot of durable components on it just check out this rear fender solid fat plastic very unlikely that a branch is going to break that out on the trail now a little bit of fun facts this bike also has a folding shift lever also the soft and wide seat allows the rider to move a lot on it also under the seat there is an air filter and the air filter on this bike is washable so you can reuse it also, this bike has self-cleaning foot pegs, so you can just pick it up, drop it, and the dirt will fly out of there. Also, good grip for the boots right here. Also, has a cover right here to protect dirt from going in the chain, and also to protect your feet. Also, guys, this fuel tank has a on, off, and re reserve on it. Also, guys, this fuel tank right here fits 1.9 gallons. And also, whenever you run out of gas, you switch to reserve, and then you have almost half a gallon you can run off and also if anybody's wondering the ground ground clearance right here is 10.1 inches and also guys the top speed on this bike is right about 65 miles an hour so that's pretty good for a 150 f now let's give this bike some juice and ride it
So guys, the bike is cold. So let's give it a minute to warm up. And just listen to that idle. 